Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. Time for an update. I want to talk about this young lady right here. We call her Jenkins. She's a red tail boa. And you might remember uh, almost a year ago now, we, we talked about her and why we got her at the zoo. So just to remind you, she came to us, um, unfortunately, after uh, being... Uh, kept it as a pet but in not good conditions and what ended up happening is that she was actually put on a heat lamp or a heating device and unfortunately it wasn't uh, set up properly and it burned her really bad and we I think we have some pictures here to show you what she looked like when she last came in but I want to fast forward to now and show you that she is actually healed incredibly well she still has a few little minor spots right by my fingers here, but very, very little considering how bad those burns were when she came in. And so I'd like to talk about her because this is what we're all about here at the zoo, is trying to give these animals a second chance. And unfortunately, when she came to us, she was in bad conditions and we weren't sure how well she was gonna do and whether or not she was even gonna recover. But to see the recovery on her and the fact that she's now a great ambassador for us where we can take her out to schools and, and have people see her and learn a little bit about snakes. Boy, that's what we're all about and that's what we love to do here at Zoo Montana. And if you remember, red tail boas, they're such cool snakes. They are a boa constrictor, meaning they squeeze their food. But the cool thing about the, the boa is they don't get very big. They're not the giant, giant boas that you think of. Now, she's a good sized snake, don't get me wrong, but she's going to top out at maybe six, seven, maybe eight feet of that. And that's probably pretty big. But I'll tell you, some of those other boas out there, I mean, they can get well over 10 to 15 feet long, not this species. The other cool thing about boas, especially the red tail boa, is they give birth to live young. They don't lay eggs. And she could actually have anywhere from 10 to 60 babies in one litter. Usually they average about 25 babies at one time. But nonetheless, imagine seeing all those lady, little tiny baby snakes slithering all over the place. Yeah, probably creeps a lot of people out. But Pretty, pretty amazing to, 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 to see, to think about. Now, this young lady here, you might be able to tell, we'll get a close up, her, her eyes, they look a little gray. That's a sign to us that she's going blue, which means she's getting ready to shed. And what happens is because they actually shed their eye caps as well, that actually kind of glazes over and they essentially get a new layer on top of that eye. And so when you see a snake shed and they're this color, usually that means they're gonna be a little bit more defensive because they can't see very well. So if you see a wild snake or somebody's pet snake and, and their eyes are covered like that, it'll just be a little bit more careful because they're not gonna be, uh, uh, they're going to be a little bit more defensive because, they, they, as, as, as I said, they can't see very well. But nonetheless, gosh, what a cool snake. We're excited she's going to shed soon because that means a little bit more healing process on those burns. So, guys, come check her out. Jenkins, the red tail boa, pretty proud to see her recovery. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.